I got a ride or die driver's seat of a 2016 Fiesta ST2, a car that a lot of younger people out there may be wanting to buy. So I want to grab this one today, although we've done a fair few of these on the channel, I wanted to grab this one because this is the perfect entry level, modified and fun small Fiesta that you can go and get yourself into. We're going to talk about the ownership experience of you having one of these, what mods are on this and how much it actually is to own, run, and modify this car as ever guys make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't but onwards to the big roads go and buy one of these i am questioned day in day out about these sorts of cars so going into the ownership experience is a key on this one now this was bought three years ago for just over eleven thousand pounds the car we're in today would run you at about nine to ten so not too much depreciation on these cars this one has just forty six thousand miles yes you could go out there and get a fiesta st of the same sort of era for a lot cheaper if you're not too mileage dependent this one is you know relatively good mileage over forty thousand miles on this one and i think that's a good place where you want to start Ooh, stage two <laughs> oh i forgot how nippy these little cars are around 250 brake horsepower obviously that is again i'll say it every time a fantastic amount of power to put through one of these fiestas that is just exactly where they are perfect it's not too powerful so it spins the wheels up it's not too expensive either you could put a hybrid on this very very easily you know creep yourself up to the 300 horsepower mark i think right here is exactly where most fiesta owners want to be because at the end of the day this isn't too much money yes the owner of this car has gone and bought everything from a dealer for its recommended retail price so it has just shy of six thousand pounds worth of modifications now i say that very lightly because this car's been owned and enjoyed for the last three three and a half years by the owner and you know to put that into perspective revoed and stage two and you know the intercooler and the exhaust system that will run you into a couple of grand just there before you put you know a wing on it some stickers and you know various other things that you want to put on yes stuff is very easy to get on the second hand market for these that's the other thing i really wanted to talk about is that there is a lot of aftermarket parts for these cars because at the end of the day there's a lot of them out there so it's very very easy for you to modify these on a budget if you so wish to the car today though if it was standard would run you at about you know seven maybe eight thousand pounds you could get a cheaper version of this car for and i think if you can insure one of these at a young age, this is the perfect car for you to get into because 250 horsepower down a B road <laughs> is perfection in one of these Fiestas. It's not too alarming, so you won't you know, come a cropper and really hurt yourself, but it will get you down the road and get you to enjoy a small, fast car when you're young. ownership wise this one is around 57 pounds to fill up the tank with super unleaded and it's getting around 30 mpg at that stage two power again another thing that i like to talk about is that you know 
buying these cars and modifying them is very good and you can afford to do that but affording to actually own this car and run it at the same time is always factored in insurance wise again i always talk about insurance in these ownership reviews but this will be very different to each person that goes and tries to insure this car this is insured by someone that is 24 years old he's got six years no claims and he's paying just under 900 pounds for it which i don't think it's too bad that is all of the mods declared that's even the stickers are declared on this car which is exactly where you want to be because at the end of the day you don't want to get in trouble you don't want to get in trouble with mods i just think that is um a perfect blanket idea for you guys if you're out there trying to fund one of these fiestas go and enjoy them that's a sort of ownership side but we're gonna get into what it's like to drive this one lowered on 35 and 50 millimeter h and r springs it actually performs incredibly well considering it is just a set of springs i've you know driven these on coilovers and various other wheel and tire packages and this has got you know toyos all around the standard wheels and them lowering springs and i think it's actually really really good to drive again from the factory these are blisteringly good cars exhaust system is a kms twin exit at the back sort of rs styled rear exhaust system with the diffuser and i think this sets off the car from the rear end with that airtech spoiler which I'm a huge fan of these Airtech spoilers. I think they make the Fiestas. They just bring the back of the cars out and make it look a lot more exciting. And I do feel that's something that you guys need to know is that, you know, for subtle mods, you know, the little TRC lip kit that's on this, it looks the part, brings the car down and thickens it up a bit, which again, isn't expensive and is very, very easy to get hold of on the secondhand market if you so wish to. Other than service intervals and various other little things, you know, just the way you treat these cars they're very reliable for what they are obviously down to mileage i think i was i was looking on some forums and various other things about fiestas and problems that they have at different mileages and the only thing i could actually really find the various things about people blowing them up because they've you know thrown too much power through them other than that there's only little things like the brakes acting up at you know 70 80 000 miles other than that though they're pretty indestructible if you keep them nice i think you are in a world of fun as well the key here is that you're going to have so much fun these are lovely little cars they're so nice inside again i always talk about the recaros in these and they're just such a nice place to be especially when you're young this will set you up for other fantastic cars hopefully i would go into financing but this car was actually bought outright so usually i try and talk about financing because that's the best way you're probably going to get yourself into one of these cars At the end of the day it's two three grand down 200 pound a month for you know an 11 12 grand car but at the end of the day that's if you want to go and finance one of these other than that guys let me know in the comments anything else that you would include as a owner of a fiesta st make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't and i'll see you all in the next one